Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard playing as Garwal. We're here going for the 52 Gars achievement. And things seem to be going as planned. We just beat up on Vijay Nagar. So now we're the strongest power in northwestern India as well as in southern India. Still Jampur and Oriska, but they're both our allies, so. And I don't think we really need that. Trying to save up some cash. That way we can build all the forts that we're going to need. And we projected that we need about 6,500 ducats, depending on what our inflation is at the time. And let's stop paying for these forts so that we make our cash a little bit more quickly. Okay, so now we don't want any more unrest. Of this guy up to Golconda. I think he was part of that army, more or less. No, he's part of this army. Okay, so. We do have 18 of 52. That's what, 34 more? When's the next time we can pull out some cash? Five years from now. So we're basically going to have to just save it up the old fashioned way, unless events really pan out for us. Okay. Did we. Was it a potential rival or something? No. We just don't have an embargo going on of the Ottomans. Oh, so Persia. Is it worth the Ottomans? And Persia's losing, but I'm not sure how they got all that territory. And they saw that the Ottomans had some Arkham of Separatists. And it looks like they must have done well for themselves. And then Persia attacked those guys. Okay, that should help us make a little bit more cash. Let's get more loyalty from our merchant guilds, they'll so make us a little bit more cash. Unless we decide to get Diplo points, which we decided to do. Wow, Beijing is getting rich. Most of that money is flowing out, fortunately.
Yeah, we're almost where we need to be. And we could always debase currency if we needed an infusion of cash. So I think you could do this much earlier. So we get the 52 provinces are willing to debase currency. Stop worrying about corruption. Okay, now we'll be making some more cash. Well, let's start our engines. Twenty. that is number 20. So we're at 39 of 53. 40 for 9, for 2, for 2, for 4, for 5, for 6, for 7, 8, and 51, 2, 53. Yeah, the cost went down. So I think that's all that we're going to need. And we'd need to actually start paying the forts. So having some saved up cash should be good because our expenses are going to skyrocket once these things are built. Just make sure that my math is right. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, plus 18. Should be the right number. You can laugh at me if my math is off. I'm tired, but no other excuse, so feel free to laugh if I just don't know how to count or something. Oh, it's 300 days down. Or Persia. Really like Persia. Really good nation to play. They say if that Shiite religion that gives them 5% morale of armies. Plus they have their piety mechanic, which can give them more. And then they have the Persian traditions. They get morale of armies 10%. Cavalry combat ability 10%. 10% national manpower, 10% goods produced, they get 5% discipline, 10% manpower recovery speed, I mean, and sorted other bonuses, but that's really good stuff. Especially for military. I'm not sure why they're fielding a very small army this time. Administrative is good for them because they need a lot of states. And that would be the best one to go for this early. Okay, so we already did build everything that we wanted to build, so I'm going to go for Surya and make some more cash, just in case. We've only got 400 days to go.
farewell marriage there. Yeah, we seem to have all the royal marriages we need. And just one year in game to go. And then we'll have to pay our forts. Probably take a month. Oh, our maps have expanded. Look at that. Okay. Pretty big Korea. Wayrod's got some problems. Mali and Songhai are doing all right for themselves. And look at that Morocco. Look at that Morocco. If they took Mercia, they would be able to form all Andalus or Andalusia. A Tuscany. A Bohemia. Unified Ireland. Good for them. Hamburg is wrecked, Denmark, who Pomerania too, so they relocated north. Rest in peace, Wallachia. Switzerland is pushed down here. And Kazan is still chilling. Pretty big is a Kamuk. trade idea. Let's see if we can get some of this trade power moving along. I like the fact that so much gets pulled out of here. The Arcand is the guilty party. Okay, we did get it. Uh, that is clearly a bug, as we didn't maintain those forts. That's worth knowing. That you actually don't have to pay them. <laughs> Look at our country. Okay, so I don't plan on playing this any further because um, of the whole fort thing. So I'm just going to be silly and build a fort in every single one of our provinces I can afford to do it in. And that's how far our money has stretched. Okay, well this has been a relatively short video, 13 minutes. Just so in case you're just tuning in. I want to go through real quickly a timeline. So we start as Garwal here, who's just two province minor. What we want to do is first off push up here, Kangra, and then we went into Kashmir and Ladakh, and into Guj. We became a tributary of Timurids to keep people from attacking us. We attacked Multan. Then we push into Balochistan and vassalize him. Kill Sind. We're just sniping off anyone as opportunity presents itself. Pushed into Gujarat. We end up vassalizing J. Salmer. We push into Delhi. And Malwa. And shot Delhi. And Gujarat has been replaced by Baglana at some point. As we annex Baluchistan. Get Nagaur and Baglana. Then we beat up on Timurids, get Afghanistan's 
some of their cores and release them. Finish off Malwa. At this point, we were pretty powerful. Beat up on Timberids again to get to Afghanistan and the rest of its cores. And then our next target is Bamani's. And VJ gets annoying. We wait for the opportunity and conquer through them down to the south, which should happen really soon. There we are. And then we fabricate on the Maldives. Next them. Then we vassalize Malabar diplomatically. Actually, we did that before we invaded the Maldives. And then integrate them in, beat up on VJ again. And finish it all before 1600. You could obviously do it sooner. Especially now that we know that you don't actually have to pay for it. They don't have to be made. Yeah, fort maintenance with 52 forts mothballed is still 24 ducats a month. So we could double that. We could basically pay for our forts even. What madness. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard playing as Garwall. And when I come back on the next video, I will work on another one of the achievements for Third Rome. Not sure exactly which one, and I have received some fan requests, or viewer requests, I should say, to do some other stuff, like play as Granada. Also do the extended timeline mod. A couple things like that. So I'll have to decide the order I want to do those, depending on you know, what's going on. Now, thank you for watching. If you like this, please consider liking the video and or subscribing to my channel. Leaving comments, because those do increase viewer visibility. I'm not just pandering because I need comments for ego or something. It's, it's good for the channel. So... Anything that you could do like that would help. Thank you, and I'll see you guys again in another video soon.